everybody. Um, it's been a really long time since I made a video. I just noticed. Um, I just got a new job. I just got back in college and trying to get used to my schedule, but I think I'm finally good now. Um, trying to start and finally get used to it, so I might have some more time to make uh, videos and things. Uh, I haven't done a what's in my bag in a really long time. Uh, I've been blessed. I've been working pretty hard, so I actually um, have a way different collection than my old video of my purse collection, so maybe I'll have to do another one of those soon, but as of right now for what's in my bag, um, I just wanted to show you guys really quick, and excuse my outfit, I'm just going to the gym in a little bit, uh, I gotta wait for my boyfriend to get home because we go together, my Planet Fitness membership of course, but whatever, <laughs> so this is the, um, funny, my name's Rachel, this is the Rachel Satchel in the brown color um and i want to talk about this bag really quick so i really wanted the um beloved sydney satchel that everybody has but i honestly think this bag is comparable if not better and i will tell you why but um let me just show you really quick a quick overview so you get not a plastic but a really nice metal key and then the fossil logo is imprinted in the bottom instead of up top where it usually is, like with the foil. And then the back is just nothing. There's also no feet, sadly. But that's the only the only thing that I don't like about it, that there's no feet. I think this bag's better because not only do you get a front pocket that goes all the way down, you get a back pocket as well. And you get a cross body strap, but I don't use it that well because I just, I mean that much because I just, I'm the crook of the arm kind of girl. I really like, I think it looks more feminine, but I definitely like having the cross body with me for when, or shoulder strap, which however way you wear it. But um, I like to have it with me just in case if I need to quickly change. But here's the bag. Let's get started. It's got the gold hardware, which I love. These aren't PVC straps, these are leather. They actually are just like the bag, so that's another reason why I wanted to get this one. Um, instead of the Fiona, I think it was called. Uh, but yeah, another plus is just like the Fossil, the zippers go all the way down, just about maybe like, maybe like an inch from the bottom. And this bag opens huge everything. So I wanted to do a better like setup so you can actually see as I'm taking out from my bag. Um, one more thing. I usually use my fossil wallet that I have because it fits in the little pocket in here perfectly. And I'll show you in a second. But I've just been trying to use my bags so often, like switch it up, that I just haven't switched the wallet. But that's all. I do really like this wallet. Um, it also has the imprinted leather and I got the evergreen color, so there's that. Now if you actually look in my bag here, move my puffball, um, it's pretty stuffed. I take this to work, um, I used to work at a bakery, I work at a credit union now, in case you're wondering. I'm not gonna disclose names because I'm just not, but that's the deets. <laughs> So in this first pocket here, because there's two pockets on the side, I'll show you a little better once the bag's actually empty, but in that first pocket here, I just have um, my feminine products for like, you know, I got, we're all girls here, most of us, if not high, but <laughs> just some tampons and I just put um, lining pads behind the tampons, so just everything's just in this little pouch right here when I need it. Um, and then in the other pocket, I just keep a lotion. Uh, this is Pink Magnolia from Bath & Body Works. It smells really good. I have my sunglass case. It's just a fox with glasses on it. thought it was cute. It's from Target. And then I also have just cheap Target shades, but they do look pretty cute. So. 
and that's how they look. Sadly, I have to wear contacts every single time I wear glass uh, sunglasses because I can't really, I mean, I could afford prescription, but I don't see the point, basically. Okay, and then I also have this other pouch here from Target. I got it for Christmas from my mom. Um, it's that uh, New Day brand, if you're wondering. And I think they had other colors too, but I got the uh, Evergreen because it matched my wallet. But anyway, I just keep all my electronic stuff in here. So I got my um, outlet plug, my actual charger, headphones, um, my portable charger, charger, <laughs> and then my actual portable charger. So I just keep all of that in this pouch so it's right where I need it whenever I need it. So there's that. Um, I just have a really nice brush by uh, Conair. I went with a smaller brush instead of one of those compact plastic brushes that uh, fold because I find that they break really easily. I've broken like three of them. So I was just like, no more of those. <laughs> but uh, I also have this really cool, like holographic y uh, manicure set that I got from Target. Because my nails, these are my real nails here. They're pretty long. So I just try to, you know, keep up with them, make sure they don't break and things like that. But I just want to show you, like, how cool this is. Like, it's actually like that holographic e type. Yeah, you get the point. But it comes with everything you need. You got like your scissors, um, a metal filer, a, uh, I don't know what kind of like material that is, but you got another one of those filers. Big clippers, little clippers, and then you also have your cubicle cutter. So that definitely comes in here. Oh, and your cuticle pusher, but yeah. I'm not a nail tech, so if you want to correct me, please let me know, but I think I said all that right. But anyway, now on to the rest of my goodies. I just keep um, a mini planner in the back here. It's got a little pug on it. <laughs> this one actually goes from 2018 to 2019, and it's really thin, so I think it's um, very um, realistic. Uh, I was looking into getting the the planner f mm from louis vuitton but i'm i don't know i've heard some good things and bad things about the pm size and i just don't know if i feel like dealing with the hassle of having to switch out and make planners when i just like to write things down in just one little spot so maybe it's like a diary for at home but anyway so i just write basically i don't know if you can see but everything i need to know is in there all at once and then even in the back here it does have like emergency contacts note pages things like that so it really is like all I need um let's see if you go into the zipper pocket in the back here I have quite a few things I have a little this I thought this was the coolest thing I went to um, a concert uh, on Sunday, we went to go see Slayer in Virginia, which was badass. Excuse my language, let me tell you, but it was a good show. But anyway, we had a lot of time because we got there early. So we stopped by, um, I think it was called Manassas uh, Battlegrounds, like so, where they had like the Battle Bull Run and all things like that. Um, went into the gift shop. They just had a bunch of like random glasses cleaners uh, and I really needed a new microfiber cloth and this one just has really pretty like I think it's like a tulip garden it's just a really pretty scene but I thought it was convenient how it came in a little pouch all folded up so it was there whenever I needed it and of course I wear glasses all the time but anyway I always have my EOS lip balm EOS EOS however you say it people say it different all the time but this is just the uh, vanilla flavor, which is my all-time favorite. I love that stuff. This is my favorite gum. Funny thing, it is the, um, this is the fresh mint, but I actually have like the green spearmints in, in here because um, I bought the car pack 
but it was just too big to put in my purse, so I just kept this container to basically refill, that's all. Um, my birth control, nothing fancy, you guys know what it looks like. Um, my little pill box, uh, I actually found this at the Goodwill, which was kind of cool. You can always find weird stuff there, but it just got a little cat on it, and I just have some Advil. Because you never know when you're going to feel like crap. <laughs> but um, I also have this really nice um, purse hook from Amazon. It was only like 20 bucks after shipping. And you just basically put it on the handles and you can hang it on the table. Or um, if the bathroom doesn't have a hook, things like that. It comes in handy, I tell, let me tell you. Especially if you're like, at, I don't know, maybe it's just a Chick-fil-A around me, but we get a lot of traffic in there. And um, some of the tables are really small and like it's like two chairs to one table and they're like the tall tables. So you don't really have anywhere to put your stuff. So that comes in handy when you like, you know, want to hang your bag. Anyway. Alright, my last two items I saved for last, so the first is my wallet, I still haven't changed yet, I've been using this since the day I got it, this is the uh, Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet in the uh, Rose Ballerine, so this is just uh, what it looks like, it's a tri-fold type wallet, and then on the side here, it has a coin, a uh, little coin pouch, and you have six card slots with also like secret card slots behind that plus a billfold so it has a, a lot of storage excuse me i got like hiccups or something but um yeah i just love this um i haven't had any issues after i put the clear nail polish on my button but it was starting to wear off i don't know if you can see that but um ever since yeah i did two coats of clear nail polish and it's been, the color's been staying on there, so I don't think I have to worry about that too much anymore. But I love this wallet, so yeah, there's that. And then last but not least, this is my pride and joy. This is what I just recently purchased. Um, I've been wanting these for a really long time, and I was stuck between getting the Damiera bean print or the monogram. But I decided that um, I really like the monogram. It's classic and you can't go wrong. So this is just uh, my mini pochette in the monogram print. And this is basically like a catch-all type thing in my bag for uh, all my little items. So this little thing, don't let it deceive you. It can, um, sorry, it's like, there we go. Okay, it was stuck on my stupid eye drops that I need to find a different spot for but anyway don't let it deceive you it can hold like a lot like this is the size of my hand but let me tell you I'll just show you everything I got in here really quick so I got another um, antibacterial hand gel from uh, Bath and Body Works in the fresh strawberries scent I have my artificial tears for when I wear my contacts because you never know when your eyes are just going to start irritating you. I have the pink magnolia spray, which is the same as the lotion. It smells amazing. Um, and I bought both of those together on that semi-annual semi sale. So really cheap. I have the matching mirror to my brush from Conair. And it's just a little... You have like a really magnetized side and then just the regular mirror side. So that comes in handy, of course. I have um, a bunch of antibacterial um, alcohol wipes just for, you know, my glasses, K, K, uh, my glasses, my, you know, phone, my iPad, things like that that I know are going to get dirty. Um, I have a Tide to Go pen just in case because I remember my first week at my new job I spilled coffee all over my shirt and I had nothing to wash it off with so ever since then <laughs> I've been carrying it everywhere so let me just kind of dump this out on the table and then I'll just show you what I have in here so I have the little 
really small um, rubber bands, the clear ones, and I really like to use those when I am braiding my hair because I feel like it just holds better. I have a um, rubber band with bobby pins on it, and then I just have four regular hair ties and two dental picks. And that's basically everything in my bag. And um, I told, I promised you I'd show you. So let me just show you really quick. Here is the bag, completely empty. And I also thought I'd mention really quick. Um, I'm not, I can't, of course I can't remember off the top of my head right now what the uh, Sydney satchel looks like on the inside. But this one has like really thick, nice lining. And then it also has a leather patch here that says fossil on it. I don't know if you can see that. Let's get a little close up. But there's that. And then the two, the zipper pocket. And then these are the two pockets that I was talking about. So usually when I use this bag, I'm using my fossil wallet. And this wallet literally just fits right in this pocket here. Basically perfectly like... When you push that in, look, see, just thought I'd let, should let you know, but I don't know. My OCDs, just things like that, just get me going. <laughs> but um, I hope you enjoyed this update video. I plan on doing more videos soon when I find the time. I just um, didn't want to let you guys down, but... Thank you so much for watching. If you have any um, recommendations or videos you'd like to see me do, just uh, leave it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the rest of your week. Alright, bye.